Two thieves inside this smoke shop, one outside holding the door, and the shop's owner just about to jump into action. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. Now, the video we're about to show you is really making waves online, but we do want to warn you it is violent and disturbing. Can you guys just leave? Nah. Jacob, can I just get the. All right, take the money in it, and I keep the coins. I need the coins. Bro, okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, it is tough to watch. Police tell us this happened on Wednesday, and they arrested two juveniles in this case. And one, as you can see there, was taken to the hospital after being injured. Victoria Saha spoke to the man who saw stabbing the accused thieves, and she joins us now live with what he had to say. Victoria? Yeah, Denise, the owner of Smokestrom says he noticed one person holding this door open, and then two people with ski masks came in. That's when he noticed there was trouble. Smokestrom is the pride and joy for owner Johnny Newen. The store is my life. I worked, I worked hard to get everything I have. And he says he wasn't about to let these two thieves take anything away. They walked in on Wednesday afternoon as Newen was working at his smoke shop. At first I thought they were just normal customers. Uh, then I realized they had um, like ski masks on. You hear him asking why they're wearing the masks. Why are you guys wearing masks like that? You will notice around this moment, Nguyen is reaching for something near the register. I had to assume they had a firearm, so I just wanted to make sure that I could protect myself. Did you see it? Uh, no, I did not see it, but I couldn't take that chance. One person tries running off with the tip jar. Another jumps over the counter. This is when the owner attacks. <laughs> Newman says he believes he stabbed the robber seven times, and the video backs that up. I didn't think he planned on getting stabbed that day, obviously, but if you try robbing a store, you're taking that risk. Right? Like, this is, this is a small business, obviously. After the stabbing, Newman dragged the boy out of the store and called for police and paramedics. Don't let me die, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. This wasn't my idea. Please don't let me die. For business owners, a situation like this is always a worry. So we talked to security expert Jonathan Alvarez on what he thought of the situation. Uh, I wholeheartedly uh, agree with defending yourself and having that ability to defend yourself and your family and others. Um, but if it's just items that are replaceable, at the end of the day, it's just just let them take what they what they need to take. According to Metro, the two seen in this video are teen boys. Again, Nguyen did stab the young man seven times. His condition is unknown, but Nguyen says that he was talking up until um, help came. And Nguyen also says he will be, from now on, buzzing people in, and he says he will be arming himself as well. Victoria Saha, live, local, now. Victoria, thanks for that. The store owner in this situation stayed remarkably calm from beginning to end. Now, if you find yourself in a robbery, the Department of Public Safety says you should stay calm and do not resist. Follow the robber's directions, but don't offer more than what they're asking for. Make mental notes of the robber's appearance. Then after it's over, go to a safe location and call police.